Reflect points. Plot the image of point A under a reflection across line L. So this is line L and this is point A. So you have to move one, two, three, four steps to the right in order to reach point A. So a reflection would be four steps to the left. So one, two, three, four. Point Q prime is the image of Q, 3 and negative 4 under a reflection across the x-axis. What are the coordinates of Q prime? So, reflection across x-axis, that means our uh, y coordinate will change. So let me show you an example. So if I have a graph over here, This is the x-axis, I mean sorry, y-axis. This is the x-axis. So if this is zero, then we can say um, the counting over here starts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. This will be one, two, three, four, five. You can make a bigger graph with more numbers if you want it to be more precise, but I'm just going to keep it as basic as possible so it's easier to understand. Okay, so it says um, point Q prime is the image of Q 3 and negative 4. So if we are going to point Q, for example, on this graph, so it's positive 3 and negative 4. This is positive 3 and this is negative 4. And remember, this is the original point, not the reflected point okay now for the reflected point which is the q prime um you're going to reflect it across the x-axis so remember you're not going to do it across this axis you're going to do it across this axis okay so we are one two three four um units down the y-axis so we're going to go four units up 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड दिस इज आवर क्यू प्राइम दिस प्राइम सिंबल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट पुट द सिंबल देन इज बेसिकली द सेम थिंग एंड दिस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट सो या नाउ लेट्स चेक द वैल्यूज ओवर हेयर एंड देन ओवर हेयर सो ओवर हेयर इट वॉज पॉजिटिव थ्री एंड नेगेटिव फोर राइट सो दिस इज द एक्स एंड दिस इज द वाई ओवर हेयर x is 3 positive 3 and y is positive 4 if you want you can do this question without making a big graph if you know a shortcut uh, or if you know which coordinate to change uh, you know the value but i just did it for people who are you know finding it difficult to understand so If you're going across the x-axis, you have to change the y-coordinate. Since the y-coordinate was already negative, it will become positive. It if it were positive, it would become negative. So you have to change the other coordinate. So if you're going across the x-axis, you have to change the y-coordinate, and if you're going across the y-axis, you have to change the x-coordinate. That is it. Now our answer will be. Positive three and positive four. Plot the image of point B under a reflection across the x-axis. So if this is B, then B prime across the x-axis. Remember, you're going like, uh, you're going like this, and not like this because you have to. Uh, pointed across the x-axis and not the y-axis, so let's check one, two, three, four, five units down the y-axis. So you have to go five units up the y-axis. So one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, and we have to point it right over here. Let's check. Oh, there's another simple way to do it. so you can keep the x coordinate same and the y coordinate is negative 5 so since we are going across the y, uh, across the x axis you can go from negative 5 on the y axis to positive 5 on the y axis Th that's another shortcut way to do it plot the image of d under the reflection across line l so we don't have an x and y axis in this question we just have a line l which is very similar to our um, x axis on a normal graph because it is horizontal so you have to go across the line l so let's see 1 2 3 4 5 5 steps down so we take 5 steps up 1 2 3 4 5 this this can be a little tricky to do because you don't have any numbers to help you but i think it's very easy if you know the basic concept yes 